This is a video about the comparator circuit, which I've built here, using the classic 741 op amp, which I've connected to the positive and the zero volt supplies, and I've got a nine volt supply set up. I have an LED connected, which is currently on, probably help if I actually connected it. And I have two inputs. I have a potential divider made out of two fixed resistors, and I have a potentiometer, which is connected to the op amp. Now let's complete our circuit diagram. The two fixed resistors, the potential divider, are connected with green wire and they connect to the input which is labelled plus. And this one we're going to call V plus. But it's not actually called V plus, it's called the non-inverting input. But we'll label it V plus and I'm measuring that voltage here on the voltmeter. These two resistors are the same value it's a 9 volt supply, so V plus is sitting at 4.5 volts, halfway between the supply. My potentiometer is attached with a pink wire, and it's attached to a pin that's labeled minus, so we call this voltage V minus, but that's not its proper name. It's called the inverting input, and that's the voltage at the inverting input. And then my output is labeled V out, which is my output voltage. And something to notice interestingly, the output voltage is not quite 9 volts. You always lose about a volt on the output with this op amp. So the power supply is 9, the output's 8. Now at the moment the LED is on, so let's have a look at why the LED is on. Well, the option of an op amp is that when the non-inverting input is greater than the inverting input, the output is on. 4.5 is greater than 1.7, so the output is on. Now let's see what happens as we slowly increase the inverting input, B minus. So we've got to 2 volts. Notice as I increase V minus, the inverting input, nothing happens to the output voltage. It just stays exactly the same. And even when I get quite close, so here I have 4.5 volts for V plus, 4.4 volts for V minus. The output hasn't changed, it stayed essentially the same. So the output is fixed at logic 1, it's on, and it doesn't depend upon what voltage this is particularly. It doesn't matter if this is a little bit less than V plus or if it's a lot less than V plus. It just matters that this one here is less than this one. If this one is bigger, the output's on. Now let's go a little bit further and straight away you see the output goes straight off. Okay, there's no halfway house. It went from 8 volts down to 1.2 volts. Now this 1.2 volts is as close as we're going to get to zero, so this is logic zero. The LED is off. So what the comparator is doing, it's got two outputs. It's either on or it's off. And therefore the output is digital. The inputs can take any value, therefore they're analog. So the comparator is a very simple analog to digital converter. Let's keep going with V minus. And it doesn't matter how big we make V minus, 7, 8, 9 volts, the output doesn't change. So therefore when V minus, when the inverting input is bigger, the output is off. When the inverting input is bigger than the non-inverting input, the output is off. If I make the inverting input smaller again, you notice that the output's not changing at all, and it won't change until we get to this point here. And at that point there, what we notice is V minus is now smaller than V plus, so when the non-inverting input is bigger, the output is on. At what point does it change between being on and being off? Well, it changes between being on and being off when the two inputs are equal. My voltmeters aren't quite accurate, so sometimes you get a little bit of difference, but there you go. It's changing between being on and off when the inputs are pretty similar. Fully off, fully on. Now I've modified my circuit by adding an LDR, 
just here in place of one of the fixed resistors, which means now that the non-inverting input V plus is able to change. And as you can see on the voltmeter, it's no longer 4.5 volts, it's changed to 1.8 volts or so. The reason this is low is because the, the LDR is well illuminated and therefore it has a low resistance and therefore giving us a low voltage. I'm still measuring my inverting input and my output voltage. Let's have a look and see what happens. So I'm going to cover up the LDR, which will make its resistance go up. That will mean the non-inverting input voltage, the green wire, will go up. And there it has. It's gone up to 4.7 volts. But what you will notice is that nothing happened to the LED. That's because at the moment I have the inverting input set to be 8.8 .8 volts. And although the non-inverting input changes, it never gets high enough to be bigger than the inverting input. However, I would like the LED to come on when it gets dark. Now at the moment, V plus is 4.7 volts when it's dark and 1.8 volts when it's light. So I'm going to set the inverting input, my reference voltage, to be somewhere between those two values. Bigger than 2, less than 4. So let's make it 3. There you go. So I've set my inverting input to be 3 volts. I've chosen that. My LED is still off. V minus is bigger than V plus, so the output's off. Now, when I cover up the LDR, V plus is going to get bigger, and the LED should come on. Ta-da! I've made a light detector. That's fantastic. So I've used the potentiometer to set a reference voltage, V minus, the inverting input, which is between the voltage when it's light and the voltage when it's dark. So when it's light, V plus is less, so the output's off. When it's dark, V plus is bigger, so the output goes on. Now I've changed my circuit. I've swapped the LDR, and I've moved it up here, and I've taken this resistor and moved it down here, as you can see on my circuit board. And this has had the effect of making this potential divider work the other way up. So now, V plus will go, let's have a look, down when it gets dark. In the previous example, it was going up when it got dark. Now it's going down when it gets dark. So what will this circuit enable us to do? Well, when it gets dark, V plus should go down. We should turn the LED off, because V plus will get smaller. But as you can see, the LED is not turning off. And that's because my threshold voltage is wrong. So I have here 7 volts when it's light, almost 4 volts when it's dark, and therefore I need the threshold voltage to be something between those two, between 7 and 4. Let's make it 5-ish. There you go, 5 and a bit, that'll be fine. So now, when it gets dark, V plus goes down, V minus is bigger, the output goes off. When it gets light, V plus goes up, V minus is smaller than V plus, therefore the output comes on. So my circuit now is LEDs off when it's dark, on when it's light. Another light detector circuit. All of these circuits have this great advantage that I'm choosing to set my threshold voltage using this potentiometer. So I'm choosing the light level that it comes on at.